course, tonight's landfall is just the beginning of Florida's troubles. Next comes a recovery effort that could last for months. More than 33,000 workers from at least 31 states have reportedly been mobilized to help restore electricity. This afternoon, reporters asked Governor Ron DeSantis if he'd spoken to President Biden about getting help from the federal government. Listen. When we spoke yesterday, I mean, he said, you know, all hands on deck, that he wants to be helpful. And he said, you know, ask whatever you need, ask us. You know, he, so he was inviting us to request support. So will Florida get the help it needs from the feds to build back? Join me now is Florida Republican Congressman Daniel Webster, whose 11th district is on the Gulf side of the state. Uh, our heart goes out to you, Congressman, and to your constituents. It's, it's, a, it's a tough time. By the way, we should mention you're in D.C. because they had a lot of votes in the House. Uh, when do you hope to get down to see your, your, your state? I think by the weekend I can go down. Okay. Uh, well, what what are you tro are you and the governor and other Florida congressmen and representatives trying to get from the federal government specifically? Everything they have to offer. That's what we're trying to get. Uh, Senator Rubio and myself and others have uh, done a letter. A letter is going to ask uh, for us to just be uh, considered for whatever uh, available funds there are to, to get this cleared up. It's going to be a major, major undertaking. Uh, it affects the whole state. Uh, this is a this is like a Charlie, uh, which is a pretty powerful storm, except it's three times larger. Unbelievable. And so we. Uh, we want to be ready. We want to do it. And uh, that letter will go out. I'm sure we have gotten it. Uh, but this will just be a little more oomph so we can get it. Now, I have to ask, uh, Governor DeSantis may be a political rival of, of uh, the president uh, come 2024. Is there any sign of any political animus that could get in the way of cooperation? No, I don't think so. I think these kind of uh, make things just fall aside. And uh, we, we've got to get people back to work, back together, uh, get their homes together, get their lives back together. So I think we'll be uh, working as hard as we can to do those things. I don't think there's going to be a big political element in it. Now, as, as we've been mentioning, uh, that this the storm itself is only the beginning. The worst part of the, the death and destruction very often comes after the storm itself. Uh, are, are you prepared for that? I mean, have, there, have the preparations been made? I know your governor's a, a military guy, so he knows logistics. Do you think there has been enough preparation for that? Yes. Well, I've called into our uh, emergency operations center in Lake County, which is just one of the four or five that we have. But uh, just to see what's going on, they are prepared. They're set. They've got they've got it staged. They're going to take care of the first part, then the second part, and third part. They've got it all set up, uh, and it's uh, it's really clicking. Uh, but it's going to be a difficult thing. But there's going to be a lot of a lot of effort after the storm. For us in Florida, uh, I have uh, rivers and lakes. Uh, we have. I got a county called Lake County. Mm. They have 100, uh, 1,200 named lakes, but there's just that much more of unnamed lakes and waters and water, waterways. So those, what happens is after the storm goes by and after the eye goes through, they're still um, left over, and those sometimes don't surge for a couple of weeks. And so we're all prepared for that, too. So it's difficult to figure out what the damages are until that last surge of uh, water comes uh, comes through. And so we'll uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah. And these these seawater canals, uh, some of some cities and towns have hundreds, literally hundreds of miles of of seawater canals that could be over overgrown by by this uh, these storm surges. Yes, and the storm surges, that's another part of it. Uh, that's a separate issue that uh, where the storm surges comes in and uh, it doesn't have anywhere to go. Florida's yeah. flat. We don't have mountains. Right. So uh, the, the water's going to spread across the state. Well, Congressman, our hearts go out to you. Our prayers go to you and your state and, and all of your constituents. Uh, it's, it's a very rough time, but we hope everybody chips in to help out. Thank you for being here. And again, best of luck to you and yours. Appreciate it.